what's up guys so welcome to today's market video update don't forget to subscribe like that helps boost the video thank you guys so much for doing that and don't forget to wait till the end when we talk about where's the market going i predicted the stock market crash that's the the hook line for today so don't forget to check that out at the end of the video now let's go ahead and check over what is done i'm gonna put myself here in like the middle I'm not driving today. So it's been a very busy day, so I'm just doing the mobile. I wanna try and get these out at least once a day now, right to the video, even if I have to do mobile. Normally I like to do it on the desktop, better quality. Anyways, here we go, boom. What happened in my account today? I'm so glad you asked, I will show you. Boom, so we got the screenshots here. All right, here. <clears throat> so today I closed ELF for a 4.6% gain. I closed UNG for a 10.3% gain. And you think, oh man, you were trying to close, it, close those. I was not trying to close those actually, but they had worked against me. Let's go ahead and look at ELF. ELF, this whole entire time. So the vertical white lines is my entry and exit. I wanted to hold to the blue line to take my full profit. And if we zoom in here, we'll see what happened. Let's go ahead and look at the four hour, boom. So you can see I entered at the gray line right here and I closed at the yellow line right there. I shorted ELF. So here we go again. It seems like everything I do, it does the opposite, yet I still make money, which is amazing. Uh, link below in the video description if you wanna learn how to do that. How do you, let's say you went long and it went down and you still make money. You went bullish and it went down and you still make money. So for me on ELF today, it was the opposite. I went short, it went up, I made money. It doesn't make sense, but it happened. I shorted it at 71.85 ish, closed it 72.58 ish, and I was up 4.6%. I think it says it right there 4.6% on the position. The reason I closed this early is because you can see the whole time that little gray line, we stayed above the gray line and we tested my strike, which was that, that red line up there. And I was like, I'm, I'm just kind of done. I'm done holding this one, it's not working for me. And today, it went up even more. I closed it, because we're on the four hour. Let's look at the daily, boom. Anyways, yeah, it just worked against me and it looks like I had a decent decent close because I was closed at the gold line and it, it went up more. So that tripped at 9.45, that was a buyback order I had placed and we closed it for 4.6%. Great, beautiful drink, next. Let's not over talk it. What was the other one, UNG? UNG, I had kind of a poor exit because it went up even more. This, I was long. And this one, let's look at the four hour. I, you can see I entered way back here early and I went bullish. I was long natural gas UNG. I still think this is a good play. I'm just done with it because as you can see, we, we tested, I'm gonna remove one of these cause that'll make it more simple. We tested my strike. We went below my strike. So if we come below my strike, that is a, a loss on the position. That position for me will go to zero. So we went below, but we see I still had a lot of time left. I had out to that blue line. I was like, I'm, I'm sick of being in this position. So I went ahead and closed today. So see all that time, long time. I entered at the gray line. I exited at the gray line, literally. So nothing happened. <laughs> I just held it for days and days and I was up there's like I don't know why I keep having these 10.3 percent returns but it was a 10.3 percent return um, closing this position so beautiful completely flat for days days upon days and I want to keep this really short so just reminding myself I'm talking to myself keep it short Jordan for days so 23 days flat up 10 percent if you want to learn how to do it video description link below check it out the course it's releasing uh, it's a discount right now it's about a hundred dollars right now it will be a four hundred dollar course so as the lessons start to pour out by march 5th should be completed you can uh, have a lifelong purchase of the course now for about a fourth of the price so great buy anyways had i held that till the blue line that was like a 70% trade or something like that, but I'm just like, I'm, I'm not messing with it. I don't like to take losses. Next up, what else we got here for positions? 
Let's see, Google. Google's open. I'm down on Google. I'm in the red. Microsoft ended flat today for me. Win, um, win resorts, I'm up 9.5% and it's still open. So let's look at those. I love, I get to take this no longer in my positions. Beautiful, I'm putting my watch. Let's go back. Take Elf off too. Elf, no longer in my positions. Yay, I only have three open positions. Is that, no, I don't really wanna mess with that. I'm not putting that in the overextended. <coughs> so, refresh, be gone. Why are they not gone? I probably didn't hit done, whatever. Um, win, let's see, win is working for me. I shorted win. We entered at the white line and we are, we're still down, we went up today. By the blue line, I want it to still be under the red line. So that is my short position. As long as we stay under this red line, by the blue line, then I will, I think my complete position, so when that completes, it will be a 15% return. I'm at 10%. I thought about go ahead and just take it off because that's that's a quick, a quick gain. But anyways, I'm leaving it on. I'm like, okay, I'm not really worried about this. This thing's, it's going to zero. Look at the PE. That's what I do like about mobiles. We can look at the PE and stuff. PNA, forward PE, 144. That's like, that's higher than Tesla when Tesla, before Tesla had crashed, I believe. So very, right now it's not even profitable. And they guided to, we're going to make a little money. And it's, this thing is just crazy. So very bearish on win. I think it's a good bear, bearish position, not financial advice. If you use stocks as your trading vehicle, my advice is is hard because you can see I've been wrong. If you've been, if you've watched the last week and a half or however long I've been doing this, I'm wrong a lot, but we still make money because we have a massive margin for error. So if you want to know what I think, I am bearish on this. I have a price target because we're in a rising wedge on when if I can back out more, it looks like we will probably come up, up to here. And then once we get out of the wedge, we will crash. Okay. So my price target, is right about where it's at, so around 109, 108, something like that. Now, what else we got? And I wanna make sure I'm not going over on the time. Microsoft is open, Google, Microsoft and Google. Let's check on those two real quick. Google is working against me. It's in my needs help section. <laughs> I entered at the white line. The white vertical was the day I entered. The white horizontal is where I entered. I'm down 1.4% on that position. I wonder how much it is down. It's down 1.94%. My position is down 1.4%. It's like, what I'm doing, it's like cheating. <laughs> because it's just insane. It's like, I get more money when, when I'm wrong, and then it's like, when it's down, I'm not down as much. It's just, it's beautiful. This is why I love the stock market. It took me... 26 months to figure this out and I was a person who I was able to stop working at 30 years old and just do this for like 30 hours a week for two years so I was able to learn this stuff so take take what I have and just get it and just go make a million dollars okay anyways enough about that Google Microsoft we are flat on Microsoft I think Microsoft I have to make it to the blue line stay above the red line I'm still bullish on microsoft you can see the stochastic crossed over the green crossed over the red um, that's good typically we have tail risk so the the battle i don't want to say those trigger words but the battle the geopolitical battle going on could um be a tail risk that that could go south you could see market crash historically fun fact um war causes the market to, to rise. so don't don't FOMO go all in on some kind of, you know, it's going down. I'm, I'm seeing the war, the battle happen before and I'm going to FOMO in because a lot of times the market will run up on, on battles. <laughs> um, Google, did that cross over on the stochastic? Google's about to cross over in stochastic. So I am bullish on Google and Microsoft still. So I copied was it Microsoft or Google? Microsoft. I copied Microsoft from my eight-year-old. My eight-year-old entered the day before, so I entered here. He entered entered on this day. Um, he was gonna have like an 11% return, and I, I kind of like I call it like the fade the move. You do it later. Um, I did that. Um, 
I followed his move. Anyways, it's just neat. I'm, I, I took his his play and, and did it. So mine was only a 10.86% return. If we stay above the red line, buy the blue line. Anyways, that is that all of them? We talked about Google, Microsoft, Win. Did we look at Win? I think we did. I need to talk about the S&P 500 as well, SPY. Yeah, we talked. Anyways, that's how I feel. UNG, bullish. I'm just tired of getting beat up on it. So I took my money and left. Elf, um, yep. So no opinion on Elf. I don't like Elf. I was getting beat up on it. It feels like it could go up probably since I exited. It's just going to go straight down now. So probably just fade what I did and just short it to the ground. You'll probably just make a million dollars. Financial advice, take it. Not really. Win, spy. Uh, bullish on Google, bullish on Microsoft. Now, let's look at the S&P 500, the, the clickbait. I predicted the crash. <laughs> really, all I did is I drew a, a little thing here. Let's get me out the way. Uh, look, seven days ago, I drew this pattern. And you can go back and check this video out. But I said it's in a descending wedge. Also, I did say, oh, I think it can go up. I'm probably wrong. So I predicted eight different ways. So it's not like I really predicted. But I did draw a pattern that did come true. I said we're in a descending wedge right here. You'll see I drew my price target. I took a portion of that triangle. So I can't highlight because we're not on the computer. I hate that we're mobile. But you can see that light red line. Here, let's really zoom in on it. The light red line above the purple line and the, the stronger white line that is making a descending triangle. It's right in this frame. The price action is hanging out in those two lines. And there's a green line in the middle. Don't pay attention to the green line. So that is a descending triangle. Now, that line was my price target if it breaks this descending triangle. It, it even says right there 292.79, approximately 293. And then let's go look at it today. Today, let's move my face. Boom. Spot. What happened? And I also drew this white line. You can look at that. I had changed my opinion, but that that was the white line I drew. It is following that white line, so that's kind of neat. But if we look at this flat white line, you can see it bounced off of that descending triangle right there. Boom. That white line. This is the descending triangle we're in. My phone is falling. Descending triangle. We took a portion of this, drew a line, moved the line here to make it come down, and we tested we tested that price target. So it's just a pattern. I just drew the pattern and it did that pattern worked. So you can see the price action today bounced off right there, that white line, that candle bounced off that white line, which was our price target, that red line, other way, red line right down there. <laughs> so and then for the future, uh, this is, you know, those little lines there, um, that's just my best guess. So oftentimes we're not right. That's why we love huge margins for error where we still make money. So I think it's going down. I think we may end up testing the 374 strike on SPY in the next, by April 10th or something like that, somewhere around there. Because we do have a lot of bad news coming out. We had a big run, stochastic. Stochastic says we're going up. You just had the green cross the red. We look down here, boom. So that's that's bullish. And we did just, we touched that. The pattern played out for the descending triangle, so it could run back up. So as you see my little lines here, I think we could run back up to here, which is a, a little bit of a support and resistance right here. I think we're gonna tap that and then probably fall back down. So anyways, that's where I think the S&P 500 is going to go strictly from a technical analysis. So anyways, thank you guys if you made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to check the video description below for the course that is rolling out and discounted right now. And I will see you guys in the next video. Awkward silence because we're not, oh, hey, I had the little thing right here. So see you next time.